on the brakes has really helped stop the car, especially when you're going at quite, oh, sorry, it was a butterfly. <laughs> but anyway, really good at stopping. Whilst I'm waiting, guys, go subscribe to my channel. Honestly, it's Bobby Drives here. I uh, want to get more followers, more subscribers. Hopefully people start reaching out to me and saying like, hey, come review my car. I'd love that. So um, anyone who's looking for the car to be reviewed, just message me, send me a, uh, a DM as you would like. And uh, but I'd love to review anyone's cars and um, take it from there. Hello guys, Bobby Drives here. Thanks for watching. You probably guessed from the title of this video, but yeah, we've bought a 100,000 pound Mercedes for 10,000 pounds. And when I say we, I mean my brother, he's bought a car, but I went with him and we checked it all out. And I'm gonna be taking you around and showing you this car 12 years ago was a 100,000 pound Mercedes and we picked it up for 10,000 pounds. And we're gonna look around and uh, show you why it's still really worth that. So guys, starting with the alloy wheels. These are Mercedes-Benz stamped, uh, thigh spoke. They are 20 inch alloys. I mean, if you put this on a mini, <laughs> the car will be up here. But massive, massive wheels. I've got BMW, which comes in 19 inch wheels. I'm surprised that these are 20s. So yeah, really, really big wheels. So with the front lights, they are actually Xenon lights. Uh, that's your daytime running light, they're the Xenons. Um, your indicators and your daytime running lights. So 12 years ago, this car actually still had daytime running lights. Unfortunately, they're not LED, so they're not like super bright and white. They're more of a, a warm yellow color. Uh, but yeah, surprised that they actually had that. Uh, these are jets, which they come out and they spray water onto the lights, giving them a good clean. It happens once, uh, once every five times that you wash your windscreen. So on a fifth time, these come out and they spray water on the lights, just cleaning them up. I can't actually see like a Mercedes logo. Sometimes they have like a Mercedes Benz stamp inside. No, not on this one. There's four options in this. So as I mentioned, the specs on this, it's a, it's a CL500, but it's actually a 5.5 V8. It's got 382 brake horsepower, 390 pounds of torque. Not to 60 is 5.4 seconds on this. Then you can go for a bigger one, which is a CL600. And that's actually a 5.5 litre again, so it's the same capacity effectively but it is a V12 and that's got 517 brake horsepower and it'll get you 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds so 0.8 of a second quicker then you've got another one you can get the CL63 AMG now that's actually gone back down to a V8 but it is a 6.2 litre engine and that's got 525 brake horsepower the funny thing is it's the same 0 to 60 as the CL600 but being the CL63 you are going to get upgraded brakes suspension you know, it's going to be much better handling on the road but if you want to go for the big big daddy they're, they're really rare but you can get a cl65 amg which is a six liter v12 it's got 621 brake horsepower but the most amazing thing about it it's got 737 pounds of torque super super powerful car unfortunately it only gets you 0 to 60 uh, quicker by 0.2 of a second compared to the cl600 and the cl63 but then again, you can say I've got a 6 litre V12 CL65 AMG. And that's the ranges. You've got four different types in this, this Mercedes with this shape. And guys, sorry about the glare from the sun. It's really hot today. But another thing I want to say is these pillarless windows. I mean, if I could try to... No, I don't know how that's going to work. But look here, it's just one pillarless window. So normally you've got a window which comes up this side another window which comes up here but in Mercedes it's just so easy to get in I can go like that and I can actually go in like this so easy to get in and get out with these pillarless windows you will get some coupes today which don't do this it's a shame because this goes back to like the 1970s 1980s we needed like a 500 SEC Mercedes and it's just brilliant I wish all cars had this and it's a shame that 
some of them don't, like the new C classes don't do it, the new E, cl e classes, sorry, don't do it. But I think the new S class coupe does do it, so that's good on that note. Alright, oh, and she had to drive in my video. I told her to move the car, because otherwise I'll have her car in my video. Don't really want that. Oh, another thing guys I forgot to mention, uh, this car does have an upgraded braking system, so you do have uh, vented brakes as well as pitted, so they've got holes in between them. This car weighs two tonnes, so um, having an upgrade on the brakes has really helped stop the car, especially when you're going at quite... Whoa! Sorry, it was a butterfly. <laughs> but anyway, really good at stopping. Another thing I should also mention, this is actually the AMG spec, so that's why you've got a big 20 inch AMG wheels which are stamped. You've also got the rear bumper, the side seals, as well as the front bumper. So being an AMG, it's just a bit more aggressive, a bit more sportier looking. And another thing I'd say is that how big this car is. Now, I've got a BMW E92 shape, and uh, when this is parked next to it, this is absolutely like a tank. Really long, really wide. And look, if you look at the side arches, in the previous CL, they were never this big. But in this car, they've made like really aggressive, wide arches. I love the look. Ow, hot. Anyway, guys, ow. Anyway, this is uh, it's really hot. One thing I really like about these doors, uh, they've got a soft closing feature. So if I open a door and you're a bit lazy and you give it just a slight push, I don't know if you saw that, the door sucks itself in. So I'll do it again. Brilliant, that is such a cool feature. Another thing I wanna show you is the window. So let's put this window up a bit. Now, I'm gonna bring the camera a bit closer for this. Don't know if you can see it, but these are actually uh, double glazed windows. So there's, where is it? There you go. There's two, layers of glass so it gives you really really good sound protection inside in the car you literally can't hear anything now if you watch my other videos you know i'm not a fan of fake exhausts when they've got like a cap there but exhaust actually goes straight to the ground good thing with this car they are actually real exhaust and i just had a look inside the exhaust is not like a a pipe which then has got this case the exhaust starts at the pipe but it gets wider so it's like that so this particular one being a V8, uh, it's got an awesome sound. All V8s are really rumbly, loud, got a deep bass tone to it. So uh, let's see what this one sounds like. And I don't know if you can notice it from the video, but when I put my, well, I put the throttle down, the car actually wobbles a bit, and that's actually the power from that V8. Let's see if you can notice it. Oh. Absolute beautiful sound. And another cool thing this car does, so, it's sitting at a good height right now, but say if you're going over a big curb or a massive pothole, you have a button inside that you can press and the car raises it itself. So let me show you. So let's have a look from the inside. It's just gorgeous, especially with the sun coming down on it. But yes, you've got a nice walnut trim steering wheel. It's all walnut in the middle. This is all for controlling your sat nav, your music, uh, which is just up here. Cool thing is if I press this button, just here if you can see, the screen will move to my side. If I press it left, it will face the passenger over more. It's a really cool feature. The screen's all digital, although it does need some fuel. Um, but yeah, it's all, it's all digital, really good display. But inside it's just pure luxury. It's just 
all of the components, everything that you touch, it's just done to a really good standard. But yeah, super, super luxury inside. The seats are really, really, really soft. Um, you've got your electric seats, heated seats, memory seats, really nice clock in the middle. I just love the steering wheel. It is super, super light. You can actually turn it with your baby finger. When you are inside, it is totally silent. Like I mentioned, you've got the double glazed windows and uh, being the CL, it's like the flagships of Mercedes, especially back then. So uh, super comfortable, super luxury, and uh, a great car if you're gonna take on a long drive. Door cards, you've got all of your electric windows, folding mirrors, same applies, electric seats, heated seats, memory seats. Uh, it does come with a Harman Kardon speakers, so it's got really sound, really good sound system inside. Like I said, inside, it's like untouched. It's completely like brand new almost. Cup holders storage in here there's another storage compartment just behind here too but what i really like even the, the side trims they're all oh sorry all stainless steel even the, the side steps mercedes logos but even on the back of the doors look at that oh and also these handles as well really really nice you can hear that metal This car also comes with massage seats, so if I press this button here, it comes up on the screen for the driver's seat and the passenger seat, and I can choose, you know, like uh, massage or vibration or lumbar support. Really cool feature. Loads of storage as well, so if I press that, you've got storage there. You can push this back, extra storage. That's where the DVD and the CD changers are. Really discreet. You can just close this all up. So now we can see anything. Extra storage in here. If I press this, then you've got a big bin there with loads of Mentos and refreshments. <laughs> oh, this is quite nice. If I press this button here for the headrests, I'll show you. So they'll let you go down. But the good thing is you don't have to climb in the back to get them back up. You just press the button again, and we're hey. And up here you've got a compartment to put your sunglasses in, so push them down, put them in. Really nice that is. So guys, let's take it for a drive. Oh, straight away, it's just super, super comfortable. Totally silent from outside. The steering wheel is so light. And the funny thing is, you've actually got little paddle shifts right behind. They're not big paddles, they're just behind right here, like little buttons. Let's go right here. Oh, it's just, you know, got a good sound from the V8 just coming through right now. I'm gonna open up the windows a little bit so you can hear it. Really good, beautiful V8 sound. Oh, just sublime. I can't believe it's got 20 inch alloys in here, but it's yet this smooth. Yeah, it's just, oh, it's just absolutely loving. And that sound, you probably really can't hear it, but. It's just comfortable, it's luxurious. You don't even, it's effortless. I'm gonna give it a kick down. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That is quick. That is really quick. So they say it gets you 0 to 16, 5.4 seconds. I mean, that, that's good enough. And besides that, again, it's a Mercedes. So you, you know, you just wanna, Enjoy this car, relax, drive it comfortably and not really fast. It's what it's doing, I think, to me again, where I don't really want to drive this fast. I just want to drive it slowly, comfortably, and unwind. Maybe put my massage seats on. Let's open it up again.
definitely has got the power. So guys, that brings us to the end of my review. I hope you really liked it. Uh, like I said, it's a bargain of the century for £10,000. I believe we've got a lot of car. Uh, it's got the power, it's got the looks, and it's got all the modern technology inside. Uh, but if you did like this video, please subscribe, uh, hit the thumbs up button, any sharing, any comments would be really appreciated. Uh, follow me at Bobby Drives as well, and um, click on some of my other videos. I did a BMW M3 E46, I did a Mercedes uh, S500. I also went to the Fuel Fest in um, Essex, which had tons of like supercars and hypercars. So uh, click on my other links, and um, more videos will be coming out soon. See you later.